I feel like during college, you barely have any time to really sit down and ponder deeply on yourself, like uh, who you are as a person, uh, what are your dreams and values, and what do you really want to do with your life? Because your mind is too preoccupied by that next assignment, social events, extracurriculars, that you have no headspace to freely wonder. But like, come on June, college is the time to grind. You have to spend every second of every day productive. There's no time to sit down and think to myself. Yes, college is a very busy time. Yes, I understand where this thought process comes from. I used to believe the same thing myself. But looking back now, I can say I wish I spent less time grinding and more time practicing self-care and self-reflection. Welcome back to the vlog, my friends. My name is June, recently graduated from college and moved to Ohio where I'll be starting my full-time job on Monday. So if you're like me, you're late to the game when it comes to practicing mindfulness. As a kid, I obsessed over academics in order to get into a college like Tufts so that I could financially support my family. However, in doing so, I sacrificed some important facets of life like self-care, the ability to socialize with people outside of my family and close friends, and self-awareness. Like I felt guilty and stressed whenever I wasn't studying or doing something productive. Now fortunately, I was lucky to meet some great friends and mentors who helped me break that unhealthy mindset, but more importantly, they showed me not only how to live more intentionally and happily, but that it's okay to. Look, the reality is this, college is not only a test of how much you study and work hard, but it's also a test of your character, your health, mental health, your good habits, and your mindset. It's all those things. Now that I'm in my early 20s, I'm trying to figure out who I am as a person. And instead of confronting that big, scary, existential question of who am I? I found it more accessible to break this big question down into smaller chunks. And I'll share them with you. The first good question to start with is, why am I awesome? This is a good question because it's a great confidence booster. You start writing down all the reasons that you are an amazing, amazing person, okay? And this list of why you're awesome can be really long, it can be really short, it doesn't matter. As long as you have starting, as long as you have something to start with, that will act as your starting point from which you can answer the following other questions I'm going to tell you. Number two, what is my situation right now? This is a pretty basic question because you just write as objectively as possible uh, just the facts about what your current situation is. Maybe you're looking for a job, maybe you have a job and you're going to move to a new place, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're staying at your parents' place, whatever the case may be, just write your situation down. Now onto the more thinking about your past questions. The first of which are, what did I do in college? Which can include your extracurriculars, what you studied academically. The important thing to note about this question is you have to remember what you liked and disliked about these experiences and also recall what you were good at, what you weren't as good at. And ultimately from this, you're able to parse out the answers for the next question, which is, what are my skills and talents? What are the gifts you can offer the world? Or more realistically, the gifts that are gonna get you a job. <laughs> I found that journaling has been very helpful in this endeavor, and I highly recommend you getting one of your own. In a future video, I might show myself going through this exercise to add some clarity, make it more concrete. So I'm gonna end the video here now. I know post-grad life has been confusing and uncertain so far, but we'll take it day by day, we'll learn as we go, and things will work out. Thanks for watching.